Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Moon. I thought maybe I would level up this koala a little bit off camera to make sure they were caught up to my other Pokemon. And so I immediately ran into something that I hadn't seen before. Now I have to catch it. So yeah, anyway, last time I uh, got to the geothermal power plant. And we're on the way to some sort of ghost-related thing. But first we have to get Toge de Maru. Who I believe is steel and electric. And also, I don't think they're very good. Especially considering that in-game, Elekid's entry said this Pokémon that can't evolve is about equal to a Pokémon that evolves two more times. But anyway, we got it. Togedemaru... Registered. The Roly Poly Pokémon. The long hairs on its back act as lightning rods. The bolts of lightning it attracts are stored as energy in its electric sack. Hooray! I guess it's kinda cute. It's just another not Pikachu. <sighs> anyway. I guess I'll turn the experience share back on because I had it off because I didn't want to over level everything else. And just go ahead and go. Let's investigate the geothermal power plant. <coughs> Welcome to the geothermal power plant. Learn all about our plant. It's electrifying. Welcome to the geothermal power plant. Take your time to read all about our plant. Time moves slow around here. You could even say we move in geologic time. A model of a steam turbine, moved by a geothermal generator. Souvenirs like postcards with pictures, and snacks made by cooking berries in the steam. Our class is here on a field trip, so we rented out an entire Executor Express. These are posters about producing geothermal energy. With the help of digging Pokémon, scientists search for underground steam vents in the area around active volcanoes. Over a long period of time, and with the help of many Pokémon that can work underground, the power plant is constructed. The steam that is naturally produced due to underground heat is used to turn turbines and generate electricity. This kid is in the way of step four. Okay, no he's not. Geothermal power plant produces clean energy that's good for the environment, thanks to its relatively small carbon footprint. The cooling tower, where the water from the steam used by the generator cools. Once it's been cooled sufficiently, it can then be reused to cool more steam. Steam turbines spin at a speed of 3600 revolutions per minute, powering the generator and producing electricity. It may seem like the generator organ in VikaVolt, but it works in, on an entirely different principle. Oh, hello. I appreciate you stopping by, but do you think you could come back tomorrow? I don't have anything to give you right now. What? Okay. <coughs> by directing the steam to pass over the turbine's blades and spin on its axis, you can keep the turbine in motion to generate power. Geothermal reservoirs underground contain high-pressure water that has been heated up by the magma within the planet. This device helps separate the heated fluid from the reservoirs into, into steam and hot water. This magnemite is speaking in ellipses. It's feeling a bit blue. Oh, what's wrong, magnemite? Oh, hello, Alolanoke. Oh, hello, hello, Alola! Here in the Alola region, volcanic eruptions can result in long, thin strands of magma. They form strands of glass, rather like hair. But the hair in the diglet here is not glass, but rather whiskers of some metallic substance. 
They use them for communication and as a sort of sensor to investigate their surroundings. Here, I've been wanting to give you this. <coughs> a lure ball. I hope you'll try to complete your Pokedex for Rotom's sake as well. Photo of a power plant in Kalos. The light of the sun is gathered in space and energy extracted from it in the form of microwaves or is extracted in the form of microwaves, which can then be sent to the planet's surface. They have a Pokemon called Porygon that helps them with the work out in space. A photo of a power plant in Kanto. The entire power plant was once put out of operation by the loss of a single machine part. This power plant was abandoned for a time, but the legendary Pokemon Zapdos was said to have revealed itself to mankind there once. I may be the teacher here, but all I even understand from this is that Pokemon and Volcanoes are pretty amazingly powerful. Pokemon with the Magma Armor ability will never get frozen solid. The underground part of the planet's huge. Do you think Pokemon pop out sometimes? A documentary about geothermal power. The Pokemon trainer from some far away region in it who's called a quote unquote gym leader. Checking the heat coming from the ground with the heat help of his Pokemon. A pamphlet about the power plant. This one's about Pokemon that live underground. The trio living in the Kanto region work together as a trio can tunnel 60 miles below ground. Are you a visitor? No worries, we can dig it. Uh, here at the geothermal power plant, we love having more POWs to share our energy with. A miniature model of, model of the entire plant. Well, that was an educational experience. <coughs> out of nowhere. With no immediate clear purpose, other than to be an educational experience. I'd say I probably learned something about geothermal power today, but I think I also probably forgot all of it immediately. Whoop. So let's continue onward with our adventure. Lots of people drop things when they're making their way through Ula Ula's secluded shore. You should have Stoutland try to search them out. You might find some real treasures. This is the aforementioned secluded shore, I suppose. A pearl. And just a swim there. Come here, let's do something good with our Pokemon. What does that mean? Swimmer Sarah. What do you mean, something good with our Pokemon? Oh. You mean... Troll. Good ol' Protect. What? Oh my gosh, Wake Up Slap is super powerful on a Koala. Because the Koala's always asleep. That's, uh... Huh. Otherwise, I don't think that would have been enough to, like, one-shot me, almost. Because Alomomola is not the most offensive-oriented Pokémon that I can name. Stop protecting yourself! It doesn't do anyone any good. <sighs> Especially if it doesn't work. You're not doing anything good with your Pokemon at all. You're just spamming Protect. That is literally not helping anyone. Or doing anything useful at all. Wake Up Slap would have been super effective and you could have tried to use that again, because it's fighting type. Hey, the fun ends immediately if you're too strong. What kind of bizarre facial expression is that? Does it make sense to wear lipstick when you're swimming? Also, I don't know. Items wash up on the secluded shore. 
It's more fun to think of them as the handiwork of Pokemon rather than the tides. Another pearl. Also a Zygarde. And a whole bunch of Slowpoke. Slow. A big pearl. And probably a crab roller. Wow, amazing. I was able to predict that. Berries, berries, so many berries. That is a lot of berries, honestly. Goodness. Okay, we're out. You're free of the berry tree. You can look, but you can't touch. Er, actually, you can touch, but you can't catch. All of the slowpoke on this beach are managed and protected by the Alola region. Are slowpoke an endangered species? I mean, yes, people cut their tails off, but it doesn't kill the slowpoke and the tail comes back. And it's not a good thing to do that. But it, it doesn't kill them. I can ride a ride. Is there any purpose in doing this? Ah, there's a fishing spot. But I scared the ripple a little. Whatever that means. Well, let's fight this other swimmer. Welcome to the secret beach. Let's have a battle to get acquainted. This beach is not very well hidden. It's allegedly secluded, but I don't really buy it. Oh, um, goodness. That man has a pose. Why does Magnitude look so impressive when it's like Earthquake but worse? Oh boy, fun times ahead. I am way better at sleeping than you, fool! I do really like how Slam looks in this game. Sandy Guests? Why, that's not a Pokemon I have seen. 
believe it is Ground Ghost. Meaning that Sucker Punch worked pretty well on it. But also that nothing I have will work on it other than that. I appreciate that the Sucker Punch animation includes the other Pokemon starting to attack. Good work, good work. Here's my pocket money. Do you have pockets to put that money in? Should I ask? My pocket money? Never mind how I fetch it. Never mind about items washing ashore every day. Okay. I won't mind. Now what's this way? Route 13. One last oasis before the desert sands. Medi! I heard the news from Sophocles. He helped him out with testing Dekine, yeah? The totem calling machine or whatever? I guess I was test subject number two, but I managed to get through the trial. Maybe even managed to get a bit stronger, eh? Here, Medi, I want you to take this. A max potion. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard the expression that silence is golden? Gah, he's back! Listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? What? Not that we'd tell you! So you do know something. Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon, but it has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that happened, it would be a disaster for Alola. A disaster? Like, a real disaster? What are we supposed to do about it? Protect it! If you do know where Cosmog is, if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care, but... I'm gonna tell you just... I'm gonna tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog, no matter what. Well, I was already working on that. I still didn't even understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean, no matter what? You're just gonna leave us hanging? Medi, if they're really looking for Cosmog, then is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really get what's going on, but we gotta keep both of them safe, right? I know what I'm gonna do. Take on my next trial so I can get even stronger. I'm going to complete my island challenge, and I'm going to get Tapu Koko to recognize my strength, and then I'm going to be the next island kahuna. I want to make sure more and more people can have fun battling to see who wins or loses. Let's both try to become real champions. Well, I mean, that's how the game goes, so... Does Tapu Village have something to do with the Tapu, the Guardians of the Islands? Says Rotom. What kind of terrible trainer leaves the sweet Pokemon like that behind? Yeah. The Pokemon in the next guest room has been waiting for its trainer forever. That sounds tragic. I need to see what this is. No. Phew. It's just a little stuffle. Oh. No. Who did this? Heyo, Mudsdale away! I like to pretend that I'm that hero that I used to love when I was a kid. Okay, random Mudsdale man. Zygarde cube. Still not really a cube. Moonstone. Spin spin? It's living in a desert like the Haina Desert that makes you appreciate the value of an oasis. And it's the weakness of different types of that make you really appreciate different Pokemon. Thank you for connecting that somehow. Oh look, another Zygarde. Sure are a lot of those. Have you seen the numbers on your festival on the festival plaza icon on the X menu? It shows you how many people local wild blah 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 blah. That's not important. Guard spec. Fishing point.
There's a ripple. There's gotta be something. You can't fool me! It's wishy-washy, though. Have we reached the point where wild wishy-washy school- yep. You sure have. Bye. School wishy-washy has tiny health, but like, ludicrous other stats. You watch, I'm gonna fish up every last water type Pokemon that lives in Alola's seas. I don't know how many that is, but it's probably not that many, so you can do it. If you want. Oh, Team Skull. What? You got a problem, short stuff? I can stand guard even when I'm squatting. Team Skull was born out of this old group that once formed around one of the old Kahunas. That whole thing fell apart after they got smacked down by the wrath of the Tapu. You can't know who will get named a Kahuna or not, young un t young un young un till they're chosen. Even humans sometimes have to live at the whim of some capricious Pokemon. So what's Team Skull doing just hanging around here? What the heck do you think you're doing, huh? Someone say you could come in here? Not that I'm doing anything in here. I haven't done nothing. You want to scrap? Yeah, sure. You what? What? Uh, no, nah, I ain't got time for you. I'll just beat you silly anyway. Not worth it. I'll just leave you this. Use it to train up and come back when you're worth my time. <laughs> okay. I thought I got rid of you. Go and train if you want to bug me. Woody Wood. Desert is like a different place every day, because the winds are always moving the sand. Somewhere in that confusing mess lie the ruins of abundance. Maybe Tapu Bulu just wants to be alone? Hmm. This monkey says, Oh ho 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 ho. Haina Desert. I'm afraid this is a captain's barricade. Only those who pass the ghost type trial can come through here. Pass pass. Hello, Purple Pass. The Heine Desert is like nature's own maze. They say you can find your way through if you keep a close eye on those stone stacks. Someone once said that the answer is 2143, but th what is that supposed to mean anyway? I don't know, but it's not really much of a puzzle if a random NPC just explains it to you, is it? I don't know. Tapu Village. Here's the dog. Tapu Village. The village was named that because the Tapu appeared here to protect Mount Lanakila, which reaches up so close to both the moon and the sun. But all that's left of it now is the name. Phew, look, Medi. Seems like we're almost to the Aether House, where the captain's supposed to be, huh? Hey look, construction workers! That must be what Kukui was talking about. So they're really making a Pokemon League up on the top of Mount Lanakipa. The professor told me that Pokemon Leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in them they call the Elite Four. The Elite Four in our island Kahunas. I wonder which ones are stronger. I can't wait to find out. Aether House? Is it another part of the Aether Foundation? Because I'll eat my decks if it's not, says Rotom. Don't eat your decks, Rotom. Alola, we're gonna make an awesome league here, so you better become an awesome trainer. We have a ride Pokemon here to help us move our heavy construction materials. The Alola Pokemon League is currently still under construction. Okay. People like to say that Tapu Bulu destroyed the supermarket in its rage, but that's not right. It's the people themselves who were to blame. What did they think what would happen when they built a shop on land that's sacred to the Tapu? Oh, that abandoned site? Yeah, it was overrun by ghost-type Pokémon. If you went in there, you'd never come out again. 
Which is why it's the trial site, right? It's your thrifty Mega Mart, an oasis of savings so spacious and gracious. Wild Pokemon that appear on Pokepelago's Isle of Beans sometimes decide to stay with you. Okay. Am I allowed to investigate Spooky Land, or do I have to do the Ghost Trial first? I was promised some spook, and I'll get it. Where the beach is covered in black sand. That is an accurate depiction of what's going on here. Hello, there's so many Zygarde around. It's kind of ridiculous. That guy wants to fight. But here's the max potion. Here's some Murkrows. I wanted to read the sign! I want rare Pokémon! I'll go anywhere due to my tenacity! Okay. Togedemaru. I guess Togedemaru is rare. The black sand of this beach is pretty neat looking. Togedemaru is... Oh. Togedemaru just got lucky, I guess. Probably should have used Sucker Punch. Ooh, Venoshock is a good move. Venoshock does more damage when the opponent is poisoned. And Salary can use poison moves and toxic on anything. It's a natural connection. Here's a Pokemon that's terrible. And the reason this Pokemon's terrible is because Garchomp is terrible. And it's a really dumb looking Jet Shark that makes Flygon almost useless. Because it's the same thing but worse! Flygon looks way better, too. It's a shame. surprised how little I fixate on victory. We each have our own kinds of victory, my friend. My nature as a collector gives me trouble. I can't travel to other islands until I've completed the Ula Ula Island Pokedex. Abandoned site of the Thrifty Megamart. Designated trial site for the island challenge. So the place is actually a trial site. I can't let you in unless the captain says it's okay. So yeah, that's what I thought. There's another Zygarde over here though. Why are there so many here? No, I once saw a Pikachu that knew how to use the move Surf. I wish I could surf half as good as that Pikachu. I'm sure we all do. Hey, there's something out in the water down there, actually. And also a Fishman! Looks like you got a fishing rod made by Lana. How can you tell from that distance? Looks like you've got a terrible fish.
and a Gyarados. You know, it would have made more thematic sense if you had a Magikarp instead of a Phoebus, because one would have evolved into the other. But I guess that's not your concern. Oh well, it's fine. Can I have Thunderbolt yet? Screech. Mm, not quite. Can I have something better than Thunder Shock at least? If I only had a fishing rod made by Lana, I could win too. Correlation does not imply causation. Lana put her soul into the fishing rod she made. Er, uh, don't you think that the rod is Lana herself? I think you're thinking too hard about this. But there's something in the water that I can see on the bottom screen here. Oh, and there's also a swimming man. Shadow Ball. That's good to have. Can anyone actually wear that? Huh. Wallace can learn it. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and do that. For more type coverage. Is this swimming man a fighting swimming man? Yes. The reason I don't ride Lapras is because I can swim faster than Lapras. Hmm. I doubt it. Pikumuku. Pikumuku has no offensive moves and is entirely based around counters and other support type attacks. Which means that if I screw with it, I can't do nothing. Why is, I guess that would raise its defense, so I guess that makes sense a little. I should have waited and actually followed my own advice. But now it's sleeping. Let's see what Shadow Ball looks like, just cuz. Pretty neato. And hey, I haven't seen what Hyper Voice looks like either. Pretty neato. Oh no. Innards. Does swimming fast have nothing to do with winning or losing? Hmm. It might. It might not. I can't compete with the swimming speed of Sharpedo and Polyrath. Let's revive the koala for the thousandth time. And then, I suppose the next time, we'll be on our way to finally start the ghost trial. But until then, I guess I could have just used this Pokemon Center. Whoops. That was a waste of a revive. I didn't notice Grimer over there. Okay, did I actually go inside here yet? Do you ever visit Pocopalago? You get lots of Pokebeans. 
You know that scientist guy named Colorus? He was bragging to me about his his wearables are cooled with water so they stay comfortable. We got a, quite a few professors here in the Alola region, haven't we? Maybe it has something to do with the nice calm climate we have here? Hey, do you have Haunter? Trade it for my Graveler if you have one. I want to see if the rumors about it are true. I do not have a Haunter. Do you know how some Pokemon can steal it? How some Pokemon can steal some HP? But Do you know how some Pokemon can steal HP from others with moves like Absorb and Mega Drain? Do you think it tastes different depending on the species of Pokemon they steal it from? I, I don't know. Crime. Anyway, until next time, thank you for watching. We're gonna get spooky soon, just you wait.